This video will show you how to calculate a CAGR in Excel. CAGR stands for Compound Annual Growth Rate. It measures the rate of return of an investment over a period of time. It's also known as Smoothed Rate of Return because it measures the growth of an investment or sales had those things grown at a steady rate annually and compounded. So how do you calculate the CAGR in Excel? Here I have six years worth of sales data and their annual growth rate each year, which as you can see fluctuates. Let's say I want to establish what the CAGR is from 2005 to 2010 and I want the figure to appear here in cell H2. The formula is equals open parentheses the end value, so in this case 2010 divided by the starting value, so 2005, closed parentheses, to the power of, open parentheses, 1 divided by the number of years, which in this case is 5, closed parentheses, and then minus 1. Some people like to put in extra parentheses just so that it is clearer and easier to see the logic when they look back at a formula and in fact I like to put an extra set around the whole lot before the minus one comes in. That's just for my own clarity more than anything else. So the formula is end year over the start year to the power of one divided by the number of years minus one. Just be careful with the number of years you enter. As you can see in my Excel spreadsheet there are six years listed but in the number of periods it is only five because it is five years from the end of 2005 to the end of 2010. It's one year to 2006, two, three, four and five years to 2010. So the CAGR from 2005 to 2010 is 21.4%. So what does that mean? Well, you can see that year on year the growth fluctuated from 15.5%, 32.7%, 5.8%, etc., etc. So the CAGR of 21.4% represents the rate that sales would have grown had they grown at a constant rate in order to achieve the final year sales figure here in 2010. Good luck with calculating your KGARs.